The last three years, we have been in a La Nina pattern. As we go ahead through the end of 2023, it does look like we're gonna start to switch to an El Nino pattern. Now, what does that mean for you and me? Well, first of all, when we're talking about El Nino and La Nina, it's something we watch over the course of months and years. It does not mean a sudden storm or a monster is coming for you. I am El Nino. It is a naturally occurring phenomenon. It has everything to do with how the ocean currents interact with the atmospheric flow. For example, let's say the lake behind me here is the Pacific Ocean. Here's the Americas and here is Australia and East Asia. Under neutral conditions, there is a east to west trade wind flow. During La Nina conditions, this flow is increased, creating above average ocean temperatures off the coast of the Philippines and Australia and below average off the coast of the Americas. While in El Nino, it is reversed with above average sea surface temperatures off the coast of the Americas, which can actually have a very big influence on our weather. First, during an El Nino year, the amount of tropical systems are expected to reduce in the Atlantic. This is thanks to wind shear with that added westerly flow from the El Nino. And if you remember, wind shear is one of those things that tropical systems don't like. Furthermore, something we have seen here across the southeast recently with our La Nina in place is drier than normal conditions. But with an El Nino setting up, that means during winter months, instead of dry conditions, you would likely see more rainfall from passing westerly storms. Lastly, with our already warming atmosphere, we have noticed during El Nino years, temperatures globally are often above average as well. Meaning that in the coming years, as we switch over to an El Nino, expect more record breaking temperatures, not only here, but also worldwide. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.